happy to be talking to you guys right now I have not done a vlog like this in like three weeks <laughs> it feels like a year for me because y'all know I love to vlog daily so I just been working out a lot taking some time working on my candle business taking some time working on some courses and dedicated information for you all to have as well as cleaning my house you guys saw the last last vlog i cleaned up my office it was so extreme because i had been i flew out so I, you know when you fly away i did something very toxic which was that i washed all my clothes on, and I took them all out of the bag and I just left them on the, on the couch they're just sitting there for two weeks it was toxic it didn't feel good finally my room is clean too like it feels so good to have your house clean it feels so good to be able to walk freely around the country i'm selling all of these clothes on poshmark you can't really see me but back to what you're here for yes oh my gosh so i'm super excited i'm going to be launching my collection i have to identify the name of it <laughs> so i'm so excited to do that with you guys i'm going to be launching a brand new collection in the next two weeks i do have a partnership with a branded box company that i want those boxes to go out with these new orders so i kind of want to wait until they send me those but i have to tell them what to put on them <laughs> it's just been a lot in my brain pray for me to get organized in here today is the day we're printing out the label so that's exciting i am going to be taking you guys along with me on my entire launch process because I know you all want to know how I launch things and yeah if you need a guided insight into how to actually make sales I do have a dedicated ebook on how I was able to quit my nine to five in October of 2022 to make candles and live my best life <laughs> so it's what June life's been really good October November December January February March April May to eight months yeah, girl, it's good okay so I, I wrote how how to do it the ebook is in the description get it girl get it how you live live your best life but that's my process on how to navigate that but yeah I'm so excited I was gonna just do a dedicated video on how to take product photos like a boss but I thought why not start the video showing you all how I print my labels at home because that was a really popular video last year so maybe if you're new here and you don't know how to do that I can show you how to do that but um yeah this is two this is the Presta 94104. These are custom labels from Avery that normally would take weeks, but I got here in three days. Um, these are the two and a half by two and a half squares. I'll print one so you can see the size. So I'm going to print a whole sheet of labels. These are like some really sweet, amazing summer scents that I'm coming out with um, that I'm trying to figure out the name of the collection. I wonder what I should call it. Like, what should it be called? the melody collection summer melody collection yeah yeah summer melody collection i just be making stuff up um <laughs> but yeah i'm just gonna call it the summer melody collection and right now i'm just gonna share my screen and show you guys how i print 
Okay, so the first thing that I like to do is go to Canva.com. It's a completely free resource, or you can use their premium version, which is like $12 a month. And then I select create a design, and I enter in my custom dimension. So I'll always put in the measurements first, and then the numbers, because then it will not, you know, convert it. So I went from inches, and then 2.5 or 2.5. And just from there, I go ahead and change the color of the background to my liking. I like this pastel orange. I feel like it was really cute for what I'm trying to do for a summer collection and then I do more of a pastel teal as well as a pastel pink. I think this is the perfect way to start off my summer sales just because everybody loves some bright colors. So yeah, then I just went ahead and I'll show you my final product here. I made them with the custom font that I got from defonts.com. It's completely free. But it's this seashell or no shoreline font for the brand and then I put in a tan port in Raleigh the weight and then I put in the burn time and then I download this entire document here and I go ahead and go to avery.com because they have an online free template generator so you're able to create your labels here you don't have to go through microsoft word which is really hard so it's really great that they let you do it this way so i just I'll go into a in my projects and i type in the project the um, product number from the box and it was 94104 then i just select this template and i select the design and i go ahead and import my design so i want to specify i do edit one so you don't do the full page. I mean, the purpose of, you know, doing this at home is not to do the full page. And boom. And I want to show you a hack to make sure you don't overline. Go in that left corner. They're going to say some stuff. Like, you do your own. Live your destiny. And ignore them. And then just expand it this way. That way, it is never going to give you that offset that drives you crazy. And then I select preview and print, print it yourself, save it, save, save. They make you do a lot of clicking, but then you eventually get your project. They do recommend to uh, download Adobe, but I just print it from here and specify fit to paper. I love it. This is the perfect size. Oh my God, I love it. Hope you guys can see it. You see that? Cute. <laughs> How cute. I decided to just set out all of the candles and apply all the labels as well as wipe down any additional wax that may have dripped down. You think success is an option. I'm trying to get the shit popping like woo. Big moves, my rules. Y'all heavy on the tweeting. I disappear a whole season like woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want it, please. And here, as you can see, I decided to get started with applying labels. So I know you're probably wondering, wait, those don't look like the ones in the beginning. But because they're not, they're completely different. I did 2 by 4s instead of 2.5 by 2.5s. Um, I ran out of the 2.5 ones and I was messing them up because my printer was being weird. So I decided to go with the 2.5 one. I mean, 2 two by 4s and I love this long label. I think it looks so expensive to me, like the larger label. So I'm super excited to sell these online as well as at markets. And as you can see, it's just such a new look for me. I never do wooden wicks. I never would do a cork lid. Like I'm so, I'm glad that makes the open my eyes to this because I would have totally just went with a silver gold lid but this looks so good so yeah definitely excited for this line guys these labels are so beautiful to me like it's just, it was a vision I had in my head of doing different colors I think someone else had colors like this on Mixie website so that was a good inspo for me and yeah I really enjoyed applying these labels shockingly I usually hate doing this I want to emphasize I also apply warning labels on the bottom of every candle because that is super important too. If you don't put warning labels on, people are going to be feeling like you should be liable for the shenanigans. So make sure you put a warning label. Wait till I not look for it. Count down for me. 12, 11, 10, 9. Eat that, I'ma make you wait for it. On my time. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. On my time. My time, my time. Sure. 
Hi guys. Okay, I just left the gym. I did like 40 minutes of cardio. I'm dripping in sweat. I was trying to do a full body, but I don't really think I need it because like I got, uh, I got a lot of calories. I got 600 calories today. Never do that on a, this was an active rest day. Um, but yeah. I never work out this much. Uh, but yeah, I was just coming in to do a little stair math. I was going to do 20 minutes of stairs and I was going to do a full body, a little workout. But I didn't really know I was going to do 20 and come up. But then this man, just he was doing something really weird. Like, I recorded it this time. Yeah. He's been sitting there for like 10 minutes. He's been wearing me out. And he's the eye contact. It was so fucking weird. I don't know. I don't know what that is. I don't know what to do. Ain't nobody saying nothing. The black people is not here. I'm at the white people gym. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna start recording when weird things happen to me and stop like um just letting them slide by but that was super weird how it happened like he he came up to me or nah i'm on the stairmaster and right in front of me he's on the elliptical he's done and then he sat on the edge of the elliptical on his phone like this and facing my direction and i'm just like what i know about you know people he was sitting on the edge of the elliptical and he was like this Okay, but you're facing me. So what my idea is like, what are you about to record? And how's it gonna go? Like, why? Why would you do it? Like, I don't know. I was so perplexed and confused. This is off of the wake of me actually talking to a white guy. And he was like coming on to me. And I'm just like, wow, I didn't even know white guys like black girls like that. So now he changed my whole trajectory of what I assumed. Like, I always assume white guys aren't worried about me. They ain't worried about me. So I could like stand beside the white guy and bend over in front of the white guy. He's not gonna look at my butt opposite. They like, they look at girl, they look at black girls. I didn't know that. I mean, I guess I should have known that because I've seen white and black couples, but I didn't know. I, I just have these like, these ignorant, I have these ignorant assumptions. I'd be like, um, white guys don't like black girl bodies, but they do. It was crazy. But yeah, we're about to go to Home Depot. I want to purchase some slabs to take product photos with my camera. I have my camera here, but I don't have my SD card, so I'm going to be recording off of my iPhone. So I'm going to need to ask someone for help, but y'all, these are so beautiful. I really want that one. The Vigo Beige. So they're like a dollar square feet, three dollars. And we out here buying replica surfaces for $200 a slot. Like, they're robbing us at replica surfaces. <laughs> this is so cool this is trending they said this one's trending cool okay i'm going to ask someone for that one i want that one two of those i'm going to want two of those oh, that'd be really helpful oh that was nice too so, okay guys we're at the dollar tree i need batteries and props for the video i just left the gym i left the the o2 okay we're here it's early in the morning early in the morning let's see what we can do here okay guys i ended up at dollar tree i was really trying to find some props but i really didn't find many props i was trying not to do anything too gaudy i found this one little sign that everything is fine i bought that uh, but other than that i really didn't find much props um I was trying not to do anything too bright that would be, you know, crazy, but yeah, it was really fun. This is new. This is when they became dollar-esque. They got LED flower lights, like what is that? They got emergency candles, and there's fragrance oil, like actual fragrance oil. What's it for? Oh, this is like, okay, this is not for making candles. It's like perfume. Okay. And they got two jars. Okay. Comment if y'all remember back when there was this trend of buying all your jars from Dollar Tree. Because, like, you could sell this for $20 and it's a dollar. These are super cute. Like, I would buy a 24 pack of these. I 
I proceeded to purchase miscellaneous items for myself, I really think painting is a good anti-anxiety activity, so I purchased a plethora of options, you know, with some nice brushes, different types of brushes, as well as different paints. I'm going to mix them together. Really excited about that. Get out the way, who got a watch, who got the time, I'm raising the clock Even in my feelings, grind don't stop, got big dreams, want big rocks I got plans, who got talk, heard it's real cheap, but it's really cold house I'm trying to get these ends, building bios with my friends I'm about handling my business, no time for stress over bullshit You think success is an option, I'm trying to get this shit popping like woo Big moves, my rules Heavy on the tweeting, I'll disappear a whole season like woo. Who said they looking for? What's up, guys? It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday. So as you just saw, I applied all those labels. I had a little rough start because um when you put a thermal labor la labor, when you put a thermal label printer on your laptop. It throws off your printer settings for your larger inkjet printers. So I had to be, it took me back to 2020, three years back of like figuring out how to actually make it work. So it was offsetting a lot. I fit to paper a lot. I restarted it, changed the settings. Like you have to match the settings on your actual printer to the settings in your computer plus the settings on your Adobe Reader because your Adobe Reader has customized settings as well. Even in Avery when you're printing, you have the option to offset it a bit so that it will align with your labels because they know their labels are gonna mess up and trip because printing on special paper on a printer is challenging like the printer really just wants to do what it's supposed to do but we try to make it special <laughs> but I made it work y'all I'm so happy how they turned out I wanted to the short 2x2 two two ones but looking at these long 2x4 two ones it came out much better the 2x2 two two ones I ran out of because I kept messing up so I was like why not use these 2x2s two two and let me show you what they look like here's what they look like super cute it's very big but I think that will really help with the aesthetic and the corks are super cute too. I have this one here. I ran out of label, so I'm just gonna use it as our tester today and light it. It's actually a warm vanilla pound cake, and I wanna um I wanna smell it. Anyway, I haven't lit it. I've only lit a strawberry shortcake one. It smells so good. That's gonna be my best seller. I already know. But yeah, I'm super excited to do this. Now I'm about to um as you can see I put the uh the very textured tile there and I put this other tile here. I may switch it to just being um, this texture behind it, but I'll just see how that looks at first. But yeah, I'm gonna take some pictures and I'll just show you how they come out. Yours, boss, bitches to the floor. It's my time. You was for you, I was for us. You do the math, shit don't add up Even on my worst day, down on my luck I got the sauce, I'ma always come up I tried it your way, that was a dub I'm taking the wheel now, cause I trust me I'ma go get these millions Host the hope and the wish You always had me waiting And I'm about fresh out of patience This time we switching positions Now you under my submission like Woo. My rules Big moves Y'all heavy on the tweeting I'll disappear a whole season like Woo. Who said they looking for me? I'ma make you wait for it. Spend a few racks on a shopping spree. Yeah, I'ma make you pay for it. Tell them give it to me when I want. Okay guys, that was the end of my product photo session. I would love to share with you guys exactly how I go through each and every one of my marketing blitz and prepare before I execute because it's super important to have a strategy before you go in so that you're not just getting pictures out because it makes you excited to get them out. And yeah, I'm super excited to show y'all exactly how I do that. Okay, so we're back in Canva again. I'm using my Instagram dimensions like 500 pixels, 500 pixels by 500 pixels. Um, and then I put the product description at the top as well as the beautiful 
high resolution photo at the bottom. I edit my photos in Lightroom. If you want my preset, DM me and let me know and I'll, I'll tell you what I do. I'll screenshot it if you can do my presets in your Lightroom. Um, but it really helps pop out the lights and, and then pop out the darks on the scent or on the candle. And then I just went in to Google and I went into the Makesee website. You can't see that on the far left, but I went into Makesee. Um, because all of these scents come from their money maker kit. If you didn't know, I partnered with them and I um, did a video on how I made these candles. The link will be in the description of this one. But their sweet and creamy collection is what we're doing. And what I like to do is just copy and paste the specific uh, description from there. So um, the first one, I believe, was the creamy vanilla and coconut sugar one. So I went ahead and clicked on the fragrance oil as you can see they got four dollar and 95 cent uh one ounces and it's worth every penny now i know why they charge so much it smells so good but y'all it has a decadent warm vanilla glaze is that glaze is that c with apostrophe like sound like v like it's so bougie like very bougie so i decided i couldn't read that and i went ahead and changed that font because what like that britney font is pretty for like i guess the healing candles but because we're onward and upward we need to be explicit so i changed it to montserrat yeah so from there i just went ahead and repeated the same process with the other two candles just importing the picture that i uh, edited on lightroom and if you want a full lightroom tutorial i can certainly give you guys that a lightroom is with creative cloud and i pay like 14 dollars a month for creative cloud on my computer and i get to do lightroom and photoshop so I think it's a good deal, um, but if you do have those and you want to know how I edit, I'll definitely do a video. Your girl was listening to No Scrubs, you know, I was in the public place editing these product photos, so I had to have some music in the background so I won't hear people, you know, talking. But yeah, I went back to the website, did the same process, go to the fragrance oil, copy and paste. Yes, so here are all of the photos. I went back into Lightroom. I had to update it um, because they had a new version. But yeah, here are all of the photos that I did. And here are the presets if you want to edit your photos in this way. So yeah, I just increased the exposure on one. Just trying to, you know, play around with it. Because Lightroom is supposed to be something you just play around with to see what looks the most aesthetically pleasing for your products. And then since I have a MacBook, I just screenshot the picture instead of go with the whole, you know, export from Lightroom. Because when you export it, it's a thick, very thick file, a gigabyte. So, screenshotting it, you're still millibytes or megabytes. Comment which one it is. But, yeah. Then, I just import that screenshot in. Um, I did airdrops and stuff. It's been a lot today. Your girl's going in. We're not playing with this new Summer Melody collection. So yeah, I just went ahead and imported that picture and I did the same for the two additional candles in this Summer Melody collection. So I wanted to take these product photos to the next level, so I wanted to add in an additional photo I took um, that had all three candles in each, but on each picture, um, one
one candle was featured and the other ones were in the background blurred. I thought that looked really good. So I put that in and I thought that that'd be great to add in the notes because I saw on Macy's website they do a description, but then they do the top, middle, and base notes. I think that could be beneficial to people if they're looking to make a purchase and they want to know what does this really smell like? She said some pretty words, but what does this really smell like? So I tried to hide, you know, the real background and did the fake background only. I'm so glad I got these three. It came out so pretty. Like, it looks like these candles are just in somebody's nice, you know, bathroom. <laughs> yeah, so I just went ahead and added in all three of those pictures. And then I put in the top, middle, and base notes for each candle. Once that was done, I thought I'd capture some, you know, video as well as pictures of a wood and wood candle for the lit. This is one that I didn't even add a uh, label to, just to make sure uh, that you could use this for every single one of the product photos for every single candle. So as you can see, it is a completely labelless candle, and I lit it, and y'all, it smells so good. Like, oh my god, this is the uh, warm vanilla pound cake, is what I call it, but it's a coconut vanilla whipped whipped vanilla and coconut amazing scent like i'm in heaven so i think the only reason why that flame is so high is because i didn't trim the wick properly but these are the perfect wicks for these jars because i got the money maker kit so yeah they are perfect i'm considering though in the future doing double wooden wicks i've seen that done with these jars as well i'm so curious if that's something like that would work for me just because i love to do like a really fast um, burn time and I feel like one wick in this large jar slows down the burn but yeah I was taking product photos like this with one uh, the candle lit and then one of the candle scents and I did that for all three from there i also wanted to make a commercial so here is my process of making a commercial i just put in the same pictures i honestly just went into canva and resized those product photos and i just resized it into an instagram reel and once you select instagram reel it automatically puts video so i was just going in and ed editing the effects and animations to breathe and fade and then deleting all the extra stuff and then you could see that i also added in my website i use a search bar animation on canva just so that people can see that it's very easy to shop since a vision all you need to do is type it in to your google senseofvision.com okay and if you are interested in shopping these beautiful candles use code youtube for 20 percent off i got you girl i got your back like chiropractic next i went ahead and uploaded all the products to shopify what i loved about this is that it was super easy to do so because shopify likes the instagram 500 pixels by 500 pixels product pictures so then I went into Canva and I used this magic write feature. It's very similar to ChatGPT. Just say what you need and they'll give it to you. So I put products description for strawberry shortcake candle. It smells really good. I literally copied the entire thing because I loved it so much. And I just put it in there. And then I copied in the descriptions from Macy with the top, middle, and base notes. As well as their description that they wrote out. So that's a very thorough description. The more words in your description, the better for SEO, search engine optimization. So I did that for all three candles. And then just for here, as a to the product photos I did the one with the candle by itself and then I did the one with the candle and the other two in the background blurred and then I went ahead and added in the price for this it is $45.99 and just with it being such a luxury vessel as well as wooden wicks yeah this is a more expensive candle um, just in terms of ensuring you do get a return on your investment there and we have nine in stock 
for now i'm super excited to make more and i just went ahead and put in relevant tags for search engine optimization it's important to break down the title too because people are going to start typing in the words and so they think of it like i saw this candle off tiktok it said shortcake so you're going to type shortcake or i saw strawberry or i saw um wooden wick candle just those or candle with wooden wick yeah just little tags or sweet candle little tags like that will help uh, ensure that people get to your products faster and that you don't run into the scenario of, you know, regret. I'm not having that there because it makes it harder for people to see it and they click off. But yeah, I also added a screenshot of the wooden wick lit so people can see that and envision themselves with it. And I repeated this three times. I duplicate the product on Shopify. When you duplicate a product on Shopify, it's so much easier because then you don't have to go through all of the pricing and all of that stuff. All you do is change the description and pictures. also found engage message today this is not an ad but i definitely recommend engage message because they automatically um post to your social media your instagram once you upload a brand new product so they do that social media post for you and they just have a really amazing solution i love how they connect with their facebook they connect with your instagram so they're going to automatically post to your facebook and instagram when you post and then they give people an incentive it is a really nice uh amazing platform so i use chat gpt or canvas magic right for this description too and i did some tweaks to it but i love it i feel like using chat gpt will give you a frame of reference to know where you're supposed to go with what you're deciding to say so yeah i definitely recommend trying that oh they look so good right there i'm so excited um but yeah i tried to make sure that this was expanded as much as possible as y'all see it was a little off center so i had to get that right give it tight um just because you want it to be the main event if you have products that you're selling your brand new launch you put them at the top because people are simple they just need everything to be straight to the point 
and I was getting rid of all of the randomizations that I put in there and trying to make my site look a little more professional just because you know we go hard or go home over here on sense of vision we don't play those games so if you um, reduce the amount of columns it blows up so I was really happy about that and yeah I had the description there I had the easy add to cart my candle of the week was there I'm super excited about that and I'm just reviewing my site trying to be a better you know site person and this is me just showing you all that it is super important if you are trying to get focused on your business and you can't really focus on you know your marketing at home go to a hotel lobby it's very encouraged because hotel lobbies have lower traffic because it's in the middle of the day. Nobody's checking in or checking out, so it's low traffic. And you don't have to worry about buying a coffee. You don't have to worry about hearing a coffee machine or nothing. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys in my next video.